uh, two builders. I got my parts in today to build my Curious Mark hollow lights. This is the box I got. It came from DigiKey. Let's open it up. We're going to see what parts came. I already had a couple of them. Uh, one being that I got from Osh Park, which is in here. And those would be the uh, Curious Mark hollow light PCB boards right here that they have on Osh Park that you can get that are custom just for us R2 builders. And I already had some header strips. I might use these, but I might not. You don't have to when you're building these. And a bunch of uh, these cables right here. I've got a whole assortment of them that they're just ready to use. So let's open this box up and we're going to see what other parts come for the Curious Mark Hollow Lights and then we're going to put those together. So here's our box, it's all opened up. Looks nice and pretty inside. We have inside a wonderfully wrapped blue bag. Open that up to get to more bags, of course, because they just love packing stuff into bags. Caution, electrostatic devices inside, be careful. So, got a bag here. Let's see what's in this one. And what else it contains. I do find it funny how every bag has electrostatic devices inside with bags of electrostatic devices in them. So we've got right here, this is one LED light, and here are the other, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five of them are in here, so I guess I ordered six. I thought I only ordered two of, or three of them, but maybe not. Probably ordered more just to have extra, just in case I blow something up, which might happen. Put these back in the bag. Got some of those. These looks like these are the three MOF sets that I ordered right here. Confirming on the bag, that's exactly what that is. They're really small, so you got to be careful when you handle these when you're installing them. These are always good right here. These are our little cones. From what I understand, these cones you'll have to open these up just a little bit on the ends just to get the LED to fit. It's got a small opening right there. It's a little bit too small for our 5mm LEDs, LED lights as everybody else calls them. I call them LEDs because you don't call something an LASER, do you? It's just a laser. So we got those. We got some transistors. Those go on each board. These are the resistor 470 ohms at a 1 and a fourth watts by 5% carbon film. Got three of these. These are 100, or I'm sorry, resistors at 100K right here, 100 ohms. Then we've got some more resistors right here at 0.22. Actually, I'm sorry, these are caps. We've got caps, a lot of caps, three caps. Three of everything. These are more resistors at one ohm right here. Three of those. More resistors at 82. Got some of these. And some lovely packing paper. What should I do now? Build some lights, I guess. Let's try that. Here I'm using a 3 16 drill bit you don't have to use an actual drill to get the hole under this. Just slightly twist that until you feel it digging into the reflector. It doesn't take a lot, only a couple turns once you feel it dig. After you feel it dig in, just ease it back and forth like I'm doing here. And then just get your LED light and stick it into test fit just to make sure that it fits in properly the way it should. What we're doing here is we're just cutting the leads a little bit short so we can take our LED light and stick it all the way to the base of the PCB board. Once we do that, we just verify the fit of that on the PCB as well. You can also find instructions on how to do this in the astromech.net forum under Curious Mark Hollow Lights. It's kind of hard to find, but it is there. 
as you can see it fit perfectly into our PCB which is the way it's supposed to go when we do install that later you want to make sure the leads go where they're supposed to here I'm putting a couple of drops of solder on our leads that go for our MOF set remember the MOF set is very small so you have to put these on there in order to get it to stick and use a pair of tweezers and we'll show that coming up I've already installed the MOF set here and I'm using the solder gun just to get the last two leads. I couldn't show you the other because it was hard to see. Here I'm putting in the 82K resistor that goes into the top. This is the spot where you put in our 0.22 capacitor. It goes right here. I just bend the leads a little bit to keep that into place. Now we're putting in our 100K resistor. It goes right here. We'll bend those so that holds in place as well. We just put our 1K resistor in place, bent that as well so that stays. We're going to flip this over and solder all these leads together so they all stay in our PCB board. All right, we've got all our leads soldered in place and we're just going to break them off with our little pair of pliers here. Here we're putting in our Opto Isolator. It has four leads to it. We'll get this installed. I would recommend taping this down. I didn't do it, but it'd be easier to do that. We'll flip it over and we'll solder these leads in place. Now we're going to install our LED light and make sure the flat spot on the LED matches up with the flat spot on our PCB board. Hold this in place with a little bit of tape like I'm doing right here. Turn it over and solder those leads. Um, you can cut them a little bit shorter as well. we'll have, if you're using the uh, aluminum hollow lights, you'd probably have to sand these down because you don't want the metal coming in contact with the aluminum.
here we are taking our cable we are going to thread it through the battery terminals that you see a positive and a negative we will solder these into place and after we do that we will install our input wire in the positive and negative leads as well and solder those into place these can be a little bit difficult to get to so just be careful work with the wires make sure you have your wire in a good position to where it doesn't fall out as you're using the solder so here I am putting in the input terminals same way positive and into a negative solder these into place separate them out if you have to make sure your wire is in a good spot for when you do this that way you can get a good solder connection Once we have these all soldered, we want to test them out to make sure that our LED will light up properly. I have a 9 volt battery and we are connecting the positive terminal from the battery to the positive of the PCB battery and input as well. We are connecting the negative to the negative battery and negative input on the PCB. And here we're using two drops of CA glue, also known as super glue, for our reflector. We're going to put that right over our light, make sure it's secure. Once we do that, we're going to test this one more time and make sure it works. If it works, we know everything worked out perfectly. Then all you have to do, make two more of those if you choose to light it up with all three hollow projectors. And this is how you make Curious Marks hollow projectors version 2.0.